Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be breaking down the official first look at the new Flash Season 5 suit, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, this is a total surprise. Well, I was expecting them to do an official release of the poster, but I didn't realise they would do it so soon, and this is most likely due to all the backlash that Grant got for the new suit and they reiterated that it was a prototype and still people were mad and some people were even going as far as body shaming him and you know talking shit about him so today Grant actually posted this new poster of him in the flash season 5 suit which is our first official look into season 5 in regards to a poster and he totally just killed everyone that was hating on the suit before that was hating on him he looks great in this. And so we're going to be breaking this suit down and just talking about all the differences and my opinions obviously on the entire suit. So straight away, brilliant poster, really like the special effects around it, really like the graphics. And this suit, wow, I'm very, very excited. It's essentially like a big onesie, it's just a full on bodysuit, and it doesn't have a zip or anything anymore. So, that has been something that people have complained about. They looked a bit baggy, maybe around Grant's chest, due to the fact that it was a zipper and he obviously needs more space when it's like that. So, now it's more skin tight. And so, essentially, what has changed and why I think this suit is so good is. Last season, I wasn't a big fan of all the gold that they added. I know it's more comic book accurate to the new 52 with all the gold, but I prefer the season 3 and season 2 suit, and this seems to go back to more of that. And yes, it's brighter, obviously you can't really see it too well in the poster, but maybe they've changed it from that prototype, but it seemed like it's brighter, so I'm guessing they've toned it up a little bit. And so I'm a big fan of this. So let's talk about how the suit has changed. So obviously I will have some side-by-sides with the new suit and the old suit from season four, so the differences of what's gonna be happening. So I do believe this is a future suit from the flash ring. And so the changes as we go down from the head down, is basically the entire cowl has been totally redesigned. You can see the lightning bolts on his head is actually connected not to his eye holes but there's just a little connection in the middle and where the eye holes are the actual design of it is actually changed it's more flat it doesn't have a pointy bit as it comes away from his nose and goes out to his cheeks so in regards to that I'm not a massive fan of this new cow I would have preferred it if they continue with the old cow and the proper chin straps and I do believe that there is a tiny small chin strap I don't think it goes nowhere near as far as the one from before so in some cases this is more comic book accurate but I don't know I prefer the old cow but I prefer this new suit I really do like it and just to point out the reason why potentially it looks a bit strange is that we're used to seeing Grant with his chin strap on when he's actually the flash and I do think that potentially the Photoshop is a little bit off around the face but that's nothing too big that doesn't really matter the suit looks awesome and so yeah the cow does look great I have to reiterate that I like the changes that they've done to the ear, it seems to be more poking out, it's very nice, and the entire design of it is good, I just think maybe I like the chin strap a bit more, and maybe the design of the eye holes, but that's just me, obviously that's just my opinion. And so as we move down further, you can see the neck has been redesigned a little bit, and just the patterns around his shoulders have been changed. They've lost the gold, which I think is a good thing. And the symbol looks like it's exactly the same. The chest area, like I said, no zipper anymore. And I believe that the golden belt is the same or very similar. And it seems like they've actually changed up the material a little bit in some of the areas. Potentially not all of it is leather anymore. The last suit looked very leathery the entire way and this looks like it's got a lot more texture. So as we go to the hands, there's more texture. I love the details that they've put into it. And the big change on the arm is that he's got some sort of armoured padding, it looks like. I'm not entirely sure if it is armor, but it looks a bit more bulky and maybe it's some protection when he punches or something like that. But overall, a really, really good poster. Obviously, like I stated a few minutes ago, I do believe I prefer the suit with a chin strap, but overall, a brilliant suit. Love the suit. 
possibly my favourite suit so far. I do really like this and it reminds me of the Season 2 and Season 3 suit. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what do you actually think of this suit. Do you really like it like myself? Do you believe that it should have a chin strap? And also, the final thing that I must mention, which I forgot to mention earlier, is that Grant actually replied to a person who said they really like the suit but the mask they're not really feeling and Grant replied, well, stay posted. The suit slash cow we see in the first few episodes may even have some kind of drastic change, perhaps. So that is a massive teaser, so potentially something might change. Maybe it's them adding a chin strap, maybe that will be good for me. In regards to the cow, I'm going to wait until it's in action, but overall, brilliant suit. Let me know, tell me your thoughts in the comments, and anyway guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.